Welcome to McKinney Rides YouTube channel. We're going to show you some rides around uh, North Texas as well as some simple fixes for your ride. So today we're going to be installing, uh, running the cables for the, the phone charger and we want to run this so that it's not exposed to make it on site. We want to make it nice and clean room. You could also use the same um, technique for running handlebar grips or any other of your accessories. The steps for today's video are going to be pretty straightforward. We're going to be taking off the seat first, removing the gas tank, running the wires down to the battery, and then reinstalling the reverse order. Gas tank and then seat. First thing we're going to do is remove the, the bolt that holds the seat down. Now this is a Phillips head, but sometimes you might even have a finger tight bolt that can just use your hands rather than having to use a screwdriver. Now just gently slide the seat back and then remove. The first thing we'll do is we're going to use a 3 8 socket and remove this bolt that holds down the um, console. Next we use an Allen wrench to remove this retaining bolt at the top. And you carefully just pull back the console and you'll have to disconnect the cables. So we remove this plug, there's basically just a little press down tab and then you pull out the connection and then this is the vacuum hose that you just disconnect. Before removing the tank bolts, we want to take away this small plastic piece that holds down the wiring cables. Uh, before removing the gas tank, you want to disconnect the fuel line, and this is just a quick disconnect. Because you just lift this piece up, this little piece, and you pull out, disconnect. There should be just a little bit of fuel there, nothing too bad. Now, there's plastic covers that cover the bolts on the top of the tank. You just remove these plastic pieces and then set them aside. Okay, so we're going to remove the, bolt, the four bolts for the tank. This is a Torx, or you can use a half inch socket, either one. And you'll do the same for the two bolts in the back, the back side of the gas tank. We previously loosened them up, but it's the same thing to either a Torx or a half inch socket. And now we'll lift up the tank and disconnect the electric. And you can remove the tank. Prior to removing the tank, you want to make sure you have as little fuel in the tank as possible. It makes it easier to set down and carry. You also want to make sure that you set the tank down on something soft so you don't scratch your tank. After removing the tank, you'll see that there's a plastic um, harness that is there to protect the wires. So what you want to do is you want to just peel back. There's some tabs that hold this together. You just want to work your way through to the end. You may need a screwdriver to Loosen it up, and this will expose the wires. And you don't need to take the whole thing off, if you're just running wires through here. You can then just feed it through. All right, in order to get the wire through the handlebars, basically ran it through the bracket that holds on the uh, car phone charger. We ran it through and fished it through the bottom of the handlebar, and it came out to the bottom. We'll use some zip ties to hold this in place, but we'll run that later. First we're going to set everything up. We're going to now place this through with all the wires. We'll lay it down and connect it down to the battery. Right, since we're connecting the wires directly to the battery, we have to expose the battery terminals. So first thing we do is remove the module here, set this to the side. We had already previously, previously loosened these, but we removed these two bolts that are holding down the battery hold down. Disconnect this cable and this harness moves to the side. Essentially just remove this cover.
You set this aside and expose the battery. So the black negative is going to be going to the bolts on the chassis, the ground, and we're going to connect the red wire to the positive terminal. We have the wires connected to the battery, both the negative and the positive, and now we're going to test it to see how it works. And we're charging. Now that we tested the charger, know that it's working, we're going to reassemble, reassemble everything back into place the same way we took it apart. We'll put the battery cover back on, put all the equipment back together, and then gas tank, and then the seat, and I'll show you the finished product when we're done. We have the modular back installed and the plastic cover back in place. We're now going to go to reinstall the tank. We have the tank reassembled, and now we're going to reinstall the console. The console is reinstalled, and now we're going to install the seat. Finish it up. The seat is installed, and everything is back up and running in order. Um, please, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, and um, hope you enjoy your clean cable.